seriously? Hey, hey guys, and welcome to this Orc Tactics video with myself, Six Plus Stevo. In the last one, we looked at Zod Grod Wartsnagger. In this one, we are looking at the mech. The mech comes in at 45 points, and his stat line is as follows. Movement, 6 inches. Toughness, 5. 5 plus save. 4 wounds. Leadership, 7 plus, And an objective control of 1. He has the key words, infantry, character, and mech. And he is equipped with a custom mega slugger, and a wrench. The wrench can be swapped out with a kill saw, and he is a leader who can lead the following units. Boys, looters, mech guns, knobs, and tank busters. So, let's take a look at this kit. Um, right, ranged weapon-wise, uh, he comes with the custom mega slugger, which has the blast keyword and the hazardous keyword. It has a 12-inch range, uh, D3 shots, uh, a ballistic skill of 5+, plus, strength 8, AP minus 2, and a damage of D6. Uh, it's a lovely little weapon, very powerful. Um, you, you get, you know, you potentially up to three shots. It means you've got a good chance at hitting with this thing. And when you do hit, it's got the potential to cause some massive damage. Um, it does have the hazardous keyword, so it poses a risk to him. But we're orcs, we always take the risks. Um, it does have the blast keyword, which is a mixed bag uh, for such a close range weapon uh, obviously the blast keyword is usually quite good to have but it does mean that he can't use this weapon in melee as you can with most pistols uh, when I say used in melee I mean you know shot at point blank range when you're tied up in combat um, or what do they call it engagement range um, yeah uh, so yeah if he's in engagement range uh, he cannot shoot this thing um, so a slight downside on it there, but overall, I don't see any Orc players moaning about his um, armament in case of ranged weapons. Uh, for melee weapons, he comes with the wrench, uh, three attacks, weapon skill three plus, strength four, no AP, damage one. Yeah, very, very meh. Um, it's basically just a close combat weapon uh, with an extra attack. So, yeah, it, it's not great. Uh, his other option is the Kill Saw, which only gets one attack and only hits on a 4+. plus. But it is Strength 12, um, AP minus 3, with a flat 2 damage. So, I think the Kill Saw is definitely the preferable option. Although, I don't really rate the Kill Saw on this guy much either, because it, it's just it's one attack. It's just one attack, so it, it and hitting on a four, you've got a 50-50 shot of hitting with that one attack. Most likely it's going to miss. Uh, that's been my experience with it anyway. Um, but look, it, it, it could be a nice little surprise attack. Um, and to be honest, the point of having a mech isn't really to have um, you know powerful shooting ability or attack abilities from him himself. The purpose of having a mech is because of his abilities. The first of which is Mech Boy. While this model is within three inches of one or more friendly Orcs vehicle units, this model has the lone operative ability. So basically, once he's within the range of vehicles, which is where, oh, the spoilers, it's kind of where you want him, um, he, he, he can't be targeted. Uh, so yeah, cool. Um, next up though, the more interesting one is Mechaniac. Uh, at the start of your movement phase, you can select one friendly Orcs vehicle within three inches of this model. That vehicle model regains up to D3 lost wounds. And until the start of your next movement phase, each time that vehicle model makes an attack, add one to the hit roll. Each model can only be selected for this ability once per turn. So this is the reason to take him for this ability. Um, the fact that he can repair vehicles, lovely. Um, that speaks for itself. Um, if you're able to just keep a vehicle alive for another turn through doing this, happy days. Um, you know, uh, yeah, it, it's it's a it's a great ability to have, absolutely fantastic ability to have. Um, with the added bonus that it adds one to the hit roll. Now that is so so useful, especially in an orc shooty list. 
um, especially as he can be attached to mech guns, so he's going to be with them anyway. This is quite often how I use my mech boy. I sit him with my mech guns, um, and he'll just tune one of them up most of the game, um, up in it to, uh, well, mech guns hitting on a 4+, plus usually. He's up in them to hitting on a 3+, plus, and that makes a big, big difference. But don't forget, this doesn't just affect shooting. This can affect um, any kind of hit roll. So he can like run up beside a death dread, armed with four claws, and he can fix him up, and then that dread's hitting on twos. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, very, very cool. Great way to buff vehicles. If you've got vehicles with particularly nasty combat abilities or particularly nice shooting abilities, decent dacker on them, this guy fixing them up, giving them that plus one to hit, it, it does not make a lot of difference. It really does. Um, and I actually put this guy above the big mech in terms of usefulness. Um, I would take a plus one to hit over sort of re-rolls of one any day. Don't get me wrong, re-rolls of one, lovely jubbly. But yeah, just a flat plus one to hit, making them better at shooting and more accurate and massively increasing your chances of hitting is always worth it any day of the week. And I think his custom Mega Slugger and Kill Saw, which is the option to go for, I think those weapons and his profile is kind of just an added bonus. It gives you a nice little character to throw into the mix, just to throw his weight in there as well. Uh, he might get a lucky shot off with his uh, custom Mega Slugger, or he might get a lucky hit with that Kill Saw and cause some damage. But his main purpose is to keep your vehicles alive and keep them hitting better. Um, and for 45 points, what's not to like? I, I think it's cracking. I see less reason with the units to put him with. So you can put him with boys, you can put him with looters, and you can put him with knobs and tank busters. Yeah, I don't really see the point in that, um, other than to just sort of hide him in amongst a unit. But then what do you do with him? You, If you see a vehicle that is wounded and you want to go over and fix it, um, yeah, uh, you're going to have to take the unit with him over there and they might not want to do that. Or you might, you know, so I don't really see the reason to do that. I generally keep him on his own. Now, if he had sort of buffs that affected infantry around him and stuff, then yeah, that'd be cool. But he's doing nothing to those units. I think it's purely for sort of self-preservation, um, I think. But yeah, so I generally keep him... If I am going to put him in a unit, he goes in a unit of mech guns. Um, and then uh, just he just pretty much babysits them all the time. Or I have had him in the past running around with a death dread, running up behind him, just supporting him and uh, buffing it, the, the shooting abilities of the death dread. Um, but let me know what you think, guys. What do you think of the mech boy? And uh, do you use them in your army? Do you think they're an auto-include? I, I think if you're running a list with lots of vehicles like I generally do with all my death dreads and cans and things. He is kind of an auto-include because he's just so useful for helping keeping stuff alive and, you know, making it better at what it does um, for the bargain price of 45 points. I think he's well worth it. You can also give this guy enhancements. Um, I have done that in the past, although I think your enhancements are generally spent better spent elsewhere on uh, more important characters like your war boss or maybe a big mech or something. Um, but it's nice that he's got that ability. Um, you can give him abilities to sort of help keep him alive, uh, make him a little bit better at fighting and things, but yeah, I don't think there's a great deal of need. Unless in the new codex when that comes, maybe we'll get some more abilities and things that will, you know, give him further buffs. But anyway, I, I feel like I'm waffling on now. This is the end of this episode. This is the end of the mech boy. Share your thoughts below, guys. On the next one, let's go and take a look at this guy's big brother. The big mech with custom force field. Join me on that one, guys. This is 6 Plus Stevo, signing out.